means to me that we're uh, taking a stance for our union and for our employees and um, just making a stance for mass transportation all together because we need all the help we can get. Uh, I'm glad to be able to take the day and go down here and try and convince our legislators to help the company and our uh, area specifically with their funds to keep us going, uh, to help the passengers uh, and the newer equipment plus cheaper fares if they can, but mainly to keep the company going for the riding public. Bobby! Excuse me, I'm sorry. How you doing? My name's uh, John Campanella. I'm with the uh, local 880 in South Jersey. Uh, we're part of this coalition because it's so important to get all union members involved across the United States in, in this movement. Uh, we need funding for mass transportation. Mass transportation is vital to the success of this country. Uh, this coalition that we're part of, getting funding for uh, mass transit, not only helps uh, our members, it helps the passengers on the buses and also helps the employers. The employers are the ones that need the money, and I hope they appreciate the effort that the union members are doing. Thank you. For 40 years, a union officer for 30 years in local 824, and I'm, now I'm the vice president. You couldn't ask for a better job for, with benefits and anything else that you need for your retirement and keep, take care of your kids. This trip to D.C. is for the uh, transportation uh, fund that's going to be voted on by the Assembly and the Senate. The only thing they, that they do support is the capital, the capital money, which is used for buildings and, and equipment, but nothing for operations. People are getting laid off because the, the government seems to have forgot the poor guy driving a bus or a train. Thank you. How you doing? My name is Teran Billups. I'm from uh, New Jersey, ATU Local 819. And... Um, it's, it's very important that we get money for operations. You know, it's, it's billions of dollars going into capital, but it's no money going into operating these buses for people to take care of their family. Now, you can buy all the equipment, buy all the new buildings that you can, but if you don't have anybody to run and service these vehicles, it doesn't mean anything, you know? So I, we, need, we need your help. We need everybody to gather together. It's, it's not a I thing anymore. It's a we thing. It's us together. And it, it takes all of us to do this. And, you know, I'm just so glad to see this movement, get, that people uh, are motivated to gather together to do something like this. And you see what happened to um, that, the right to the uh, vote that we was doing to check off Americans' uh, free choice. And you see that that went down the drain. But see, Obama came through another way. He had one of them Bush secret votes while it was out of section that, you know, with the labor board. And so the labor board's getting back together, and that's a positive thing because we just got two members on that board that was Democrat to do something positive. They had all these um, arbitration cases and uh, complaints and grievances just sitting there for years under the Bush administration. So, listen, I'm proud to be part of this. I'm proud to be active in this. And I wish everybody, with your families, your cousins, your sister, your brother, because it's us against them. It's us together. Right, everybody? Yeah. Yeah. Junior, straight ahead, Junior.
Right. Tell you, yeah, I'll be back with it. But at least it's cool right now. Yeah. Everybody knows, 3 o'clock, the buses are leaving. 3, all right? So pass it on. 3 o'clock, the buses will leave. I'm right here. We took over the leadership of Transport Workers Union on January 4th, and the man that I want to introduce next has been pivotal with political and financial support and our fight back against the MTA. Brothers and sisters, Jim Little, President, Transport Workers Union of America. Thank you, thank you brothers and sisters, and thank you for this great turnout. I want to thank my brothers in ATU and sisters, and also my brothers and sisters in the TWU. This is what it's all about. I'm not going to repeat what Warren said, because we all know the message. But what we have to do is make sure that we're not just speaking for transit workers, we're speaking for America. We're speaking for American people. We're speaking for the kids. We're speaking for funding. And we're going to do everything we have in our power and leave no stone unturned to make that happen. Because guess what? As long as the transport workers and the ATU can breathe, they're going to hear us speak. They're going to see us in these halls of Congress. They're going to, politicians are going to hear us. Because guess what? Enough is enough. Because if they don't want to hear us, then we won't hear them when it comes to election day. Okay? They're not shy and wanting our money. Well, guess what? Now it turns around. We can't cut back on jobs that not only protect working people and protect families and move America forward, we're also protecting the people that ride on the subways, that ride on the buses. How many accidents did we have? How many subway members have to be killed? What does it take? Does it take a major emergency like our brothers had over here in DCA for legislators to put a pen to a piece of paper? We shouldn't wait for that. This is America. This is America. So we're going to make it happen, and we can't do it without you. And we can't do it without all of us working together. So I'm proud to be here. I'm proud to stand with you. And I'm so proud of the work that Local 100 is doing. John Samuelson and his leadership. Thank you all. God bless you. We're here for you. All right. We have nearly 3,000 members in three weeks. And one of the reasons why we have so members here is this stage. This stage represents almost every part of America. And next time we have a rally, it's going to be double the size.